There was quite a bit of wind damage this past weekend as high winds took out power on Saturday afternoon. Later on that evening the high wind warning became a blizzard warning. Some power poles were blown over and a storage building at 3rd and Berg Street had a roof blown off on Sunday morning. There was also a tree blown over by a house at 6th and Howard Street. Howard Street ended up only having one lane of traffic as the fallen tree fell on half of road. The west side of town was where most of the wind damage took place. Also some dumpsters were blown over by the wind in the 200 block of Elm Street as well. City crews were out during the storm repairing the power early Saturday evening. There is a lot more damage around that will take time to fix. All of the highways were all closed for about 12 hours late Saturday night into Sunday morning and the high school prom ended up being postponed to this next Saturday April 13th as well and all churches in town had cancelled their Sunday morning service. First responders were called to the intersection of Chestnut Street and Highway 30 just after 4 p.m. on Monday evening. The two-vehicle collision caused airbags to deploy and caused fluids from both vehicles to pool on the roadway. No injuries were reported. The Kimball Volunteer Fire Department briefly responded to the scene. The Kimball County Sheriff's Office controlled traffic at the scene while Kimball Police conducted an investigation. The cause has not yet been determined but drugs and alcohol are not believed to be factors. Mid-afternoon Friday, three individuals were involved in an accident on I-80 at mile marker 14 eastbound that resulted in one fatality. Two individuals were in a truck pulled off to the side of the road with a tire issue when another truck hit their vehicle, says Kimball County Sheriff David Hoddell. The driver of the second truck was pronounced dead on the scene. The two individuals in the first truck had minor injuries, and neither of them went to the hospital. Nebraska State Patrol is currently investigating the incident. The identity of the individuals have not been released at this time. The individual involved in the fatality is not a local. On Wednesday, April 3, 2024, the Kimball County Sheriff's Office conducted a traffic stop which resulted in the arrest of Vincent Janus 51 for DUS driving under suspension. If you are a parent to 4- and 5-year-olds, don't forget to register your children for pre-K and kindergarten for the 2024-2025 school year on Wednesday, April 17 at Mary Lynch Elementary School. Pre-K registration is open to incoming students from 8.30 to 11 a.m. Children who are eligible for pre-K are those who have not reached the age of 5 by July 31st. Kindergarten registration is open 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. However, it is split up into two sections. For children who are currently attending morning pre-K, registration is open 8.30, 9.30 a.m. For children who are currently attending afternoon pre-K and for new district students, registration is open 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Children who are eligible for kindergarten are those who will turn 5 by July 31st. If you are a prospective parent of a child entering into kindergarten, you should have received a letter with enrollment details. If you are new to the district, please call Mary Lynch Elementary at 308 2354696 to have your name added to the kindergarten list. Parents must bring a copy of the child's birth certificate and current immunization records to register for both pre-K and kindergarten. The school has also added a new digital registration process this year for a seamless experience. If possible prior to attending registration day download the Infinite Campus Parent app and Kimball Public Schools Nebraska Teggy app on your smartphone. The biggest change coming to the Mary Lynch Elementary School this year is transitioning to a four-day school week, while also offering a half-day on Fridays. Amanda Kulek, Mary Lynch Elementary School principal, said the after-school program, Elite is currently on Wednesdays but will be moved to Fridays from 8 a.m. to noon. The school officials wanted parents to still have the option to send their children to the school if need be. Kulek gives a piece of advice to parents who are sending their children to pre-K. For parents, it'd be for them to know that pre-K is a special time. There is a lot of growth and excitement that takes place, and it's important to stay positive. Every child grows at their own pace, but we have a very patient staff that is very supportive and that will celebrate any achievement big or small along the way with them. That is all in local news. At Kimball State Bank and Kimball Insurance, products we offer are home, auto, business, truck, farm, life, boat, RV, 
motorcycle, ATV, rental homes, vacant homes, and SR-22 auto policies. Hours of operation are Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Fridays 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays by appointment and closed on Sundays. We are conveniently located at 205 South Locust Street, four blocks west of the stoplights off Highway 30. For more than a century, Kimball State Bank and Insurance has been serving our community and will continue for more years to come. Call us at 308-235-4629 for more information or stop by 205 South Locust Street. Are you looking for that special, one-of-a-kind gift or item for yourself? A W Laser Art is a very proud farm and ranch wife nestled on the plains of western Nebraska. They offer a full line of custom, laser gifts and awards as well as western home decor. If you don't see something that you really like and want to design your own, that is fantastic. Custom orders are always welcome. They also love to help out groups by offering several fundraising options. So please, take a look around. Feel free to contact Laser Art by phone or email. They look forward to designing that perfect gift for you. A W Laser Art and so much more. Visit www.awlaserart.com or call 308-235-8406. Bullseye Maintenance and Repair is servicing Kimball and surrounding areas. No job to small. Call Tony Hernandez at 970-624-9863 for a free estimate. He does plumbing, basic water heaters, replacement toilets and sinks. Yard maintenance, weekly mowing, raking, weeding, fall cleanup. Landscape, rock, flower beds, fall cleanup, snow removal, remodels, interior and exterior. You name it, we do it. Are you looking for custom welding and fabrication? Are you looking for hydraulic, PTO, and driveline repairs? What about farm equipment repairs? What about steel sales? Then look no further. Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated has portable welding service available. They are located at 105 South Webster Street. Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to noon. You can call them at 308-235-3700 during business hours. Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated has been providing farm machinery and equipment manufacturing in Kimball since 2009. For all of your manufacturing needs, give Prestige Manufacturing Incorporated a call at 308-235-3700 or stop by 105 South Webster Street during business hours. Peppa's Mexican Food will be on Monday, April 15 at Nebraska Coffee at 103 South Chestnut Street in downtown Kimball from 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. or until sold out. From the producers of Born to Rain and author of Sir Barton. National Legacy. Auburn's Tour 2024. Celebrating 150 years of the Kentucky Derby. Nebraska. Monday, April 22, 2024, at 6.30 p.m., Authors Meet and Greet. 7 p.m., Born to Rain documentary film showing at the Good Hand Theater. 226 South Chestnut Street in downtown Kimball. Sponsored by Plains Historical Society. Dead Man Saloon is coming up in downtown Kimball. Join us for our annual Murder Mystery Theater hosted by the Friends of the Kimball Library. Saturday, May 18, 2024. Have a luncheon at 2 p.m. at the KCTS building. Cost is $20 per ticket or supper at 6 p.m. at the Eagles. Cost for that is $30 per ticket. Sponsored by Friends of the Kimball Library and Kimball Public Library. Call 308-235-4523 or stop by with any questions. The Kimball Public Library is looking for donations of plastic jars. They need to be 16 to 40 ounces or similar size. Clear plastic with lid and clean. We will be taking donations until we reach 120 jars. Double Diamond Farms in Kimball, Dix, and Bushnell, Nebraska have hay for sale. Grass slash alfalfa mix. Oats slash alfalfa mix. Beardless forage wheat. Golden German hay millet. Pearl millet. Sweet leaf sorghum. Oats slash beardless forage wheat mix and alfalfa.
all 4x4 four four squares. Feed test is available. Freight options are available. The hay is for sale. Call 970-466-2979. Skywarn Spotter Training in Person Training in Kimball, Nebraska. This class is coming up on Wednesday evening, April 17th at 6.30 p.m. at the Kimball Fire Station at 200 West 2nd Street in Kimball, Nebraska 69145. Learn cloud and storm recognition. Learn safety and preparedness tips. Classes are free and open to all. It is sponsored by the National Weather Service of Cheyenne, Wyoming and Skywarn and hosted by Region 21 Emergency Management. More information can be found at weather.gov slash cys slash skywarn. Mark your calendar for Saturday, May 4th for Casino Night. The Kimball Hospital Foundation Casino Night will be held on Saturday, May 4th from 6 to 11 p.m. at the Sagebrush. People must be 21 or older to attend. Cost is free admission, however a $50 donation per person is much appreciated. They will have casino quality games, great food, and fun. They will also have live auction to follow. Cash in your chips to win cash prizes. From the KIMB Weather Center, this is your weather outlook for the next week. Tonight, partly cloudy, with a low around 24. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour decreasing to 5 to 10 miles per hour in the evening. Winds could gust as high as 25 miles per hour. Tuesday sunny, with a high near 59. West wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, with a low around 33. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, a 20% chance of showers after 1 p.m. Mostly sunny, with a high near 54. Breezy, with a north-northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour increasing to 20 to 25 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 35 miles per hour. Wednesday night, a 20% chance of showers before 7 p.m. Mostly clear with a low around 26. Blustery, with a north-northwest wind 15 to 20 miles per hour decreasing to 10 to 15 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Thursday sunny, with a high near 59. Thursday night, mostly clear with a low around 32. Friday sunny, with a high near 73. Friday night, mostly clear with a low around 41. Saturday, mostly sunny, with a high near 73. Breezy. Saturday night, a slight chance of showers. Mostly clear with a low around 41. Next Sunday sunny, with a high near 70. Next Sunday night, mostly clear with a low around 42. Breezy. And next Monday, a chance of showers. Mostly sunny, with a high near 71. Breezy. That is your weather outlook for the next week.